Oh, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Coffee here, and today we're back with a Diamond Art Club sneak peek. Yes. And of course, first things first, as usual, huge thank you to the folks over at Diamond Art Club for providing this sneak peek for us. And what did they send us out today, you guys? We don't got no time to waste, so we just gonna do a little movie magic to get into this box. You ready? There we go. Safety first. And as you can already see from the box, it is Flashback Friday here on the channel. Because you guys, who does not remember All Real Monsters? This 90 cartoon was a staple in my house. So we, of course, have the three characters. Can you name the three characters? Ipkiss, Ablina, Crumb. Let's go. So... We're going to go ahead and get into the plastic and get into this box. I hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you're not, do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. Now, I remember this cartoon growing up. It was one of my favorite cartoons. And when I told my husband I was doing this one, he, again, was super excited. The way Diamond Art Club is taking us back to our childhood. So let's go ahead and get into this box real quick. Safety first. I don't want to stab myself. So let's see what toolkit contents we have. So we're going to crack this open. We're going to break those arms there. There we go. And then we're going to get that toolkit out. So this is your Diamond Art Club toolkit. Now, I don't know if this is round or square. Good way to tell that on a special kit since there's no ribbon around it. If you see tweezers, we see no tweezers in that bag. So that means this is a round kit, which is great because that's a lot of color blocking around the outside. We're going to take a look at that. We got a yellow pen, which means we also have a yellow squishy. Let's see what kind of washi tape we have in here. You, of course, are going to get your boat, your plates of wax, your squishy, your multi-placers, your baggies, and a beautiful little cover minder. So we have our cover minder there. Isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So we're going to throw that back in the box there. And then your washi tape are these beautiful flowers. We love to see it. We love to see it. Don't mind the glue on my hand. One of my nails popped off. Anyways, we ain't talking about that. So, let's put all this stuff back into the bag. I'm just going to toss it off to the side. Ain't nobody care about that toolkit. So, let's get this out of the box here. And, of course, it comes with a sticker that you can use for organization reasons. And what I like to do, of course, is stick it on the side of the box for when I do put it away. So, we're just going to... Right there on the side. There we go. We're going to toss that off to the side because y'all don't care about that either. So, how big is this kit? This kit is a 59 by 43 round with ABs. So, let's take a look. There we go. There's our contents. So there's our drills. There's that purple paper that Becky loves. There's our kit. Oh, my God, you guys. It only has 12 colors. It only has 12 colors, you guys. And this is the image that we will be diamond painting on. Let's go. Ah, oh, Real Monsters. Was this a cartoon that you watched as a kid? Write that down in the comment section. So it's a long, it's a wide kit. It's not long. So we're going to roll it backwards. You ready? I don't know if you're ready for this. I don't know. I love the specialty boxes that these kits come in too. Bam. Look at that. I want a wall of all 90s cartoons. And so far, I'm, I'm, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. So we, of course, have the characters of all real monsters. That's a lot of color blocking. A lot, a lot, a lot of color blocking. Get those multi-placers ready for those single placers. This may or may not be heaven to you. Checker, checkerboarding is your friend. Now, with that said, again, it has 12 colors. You're going to get your schematic on both sides. Your kit information is going to be it down here at the bottom. Again, this is a 59 by 43, so it's not super big. And with that said, it's time to open these drills. Now, if you are someone who does not like the noise of that crinkling plastic, we're going to have you mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds or until you see me stop struggling. All right. So let's get into this plastic and see what 12 colors we have because we only have 12. The selling point for me is the 12. It's the 12 colors. I'm not going to lie. 12 colors? Okay, I got that. 38.25. Now, I'm going to guess this is the background color, seeing as how there's a lot of bags of it. So 37.56. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, we're twisted. 8, 9. So 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bags of thirty-seven fifty-six, and again a round kit. Three ten e three. Oh, oh, Diamond Art Club. Look, listen. Now, if you don't know why I'm freaking out about that e three ten, or you're new to diamond painting, hi. 
Welcome to your new addiction. E310 on a Diamond Art Club kit usually means it's glow in the dark. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that if I look at the legend here, 310 is usually this circle, uh, this black square with a circle in it. And right there at the bottom, I, I know you can't see it, but it says E310, which tells me because Diamond Art Club puts their stuff in a row. Like they put it in num numerical order on the legend. So the fact that it's at the bottom, we have a glow in the dark. Let's go. So it looks like you're going to outline each character in black. And of course, uh, Ablina is going to have the black on her as well. And that is going to glow in the dark. I know I said I was going to work on another kit, but I got to work on this kit. E310. Two bags of that coming in hot for the glow in the dark drills. Let's go, Diamond Art Club. 718, 5200, 3801, 340. Eh, eh, AB alert. Yes. Now, AB, what does AB stand for? I know a couple of y'all who have been here for a while already know, but for those folks who are new to diamond painting and don't know what an AB is, don't worry, I got you. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that they put on the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. Now, when you lay these down on the canvas next to regular drills, it will pick up the light from the drill laying next to it and make it sparkle brighter as well. Because if one shines, we all shine, you heard? So 129 is our first AB in this kit. So let's keep going to see if we can find any more ABs. 3845, 141, eh, eh, AB alert. Now, when you're working on a Diamond Art Club, you're going to be looking for numbers that are less than 150. So 149 and below. Any number less than 150 is going to be an AB. So, so far we have two ABs coming out hot in this kit and a bag of glow or two bags of glow in the dark drills. This kit is about to be far. So 141, 796, and 3843. All right. So with that said, y'all, look, listen. Oh, sorry. Real quick. Movie magic. All right. You got your movie magic. So now with that said, let's take a look at our legend. We had two AB drills. Okay. So those are two of the sp extra sparkly drills. One and two. We're going to do some dance steps here. And then letter E310 is that square with the white circle. And again, look around the characters. They are outlined in that, that black. And Oblina has it actually for her body because she is black and white. And of course, Crumb is going to have it outlining his body as well, which means when you, these, a, or by the way, these glow in the dark drills, they are more reactive if you have a UV light. So if a UV light is shiny on them, they are going to glow brighter. So that's what you want to use when you're using the glow in the dark drills on a diamond painting, a UV light. You can buy them super cheap off Amazon. You might even find them at Walmart. So with that said, again, I love the fact that his armpit hair is going to be glowing in the dark and her foot, just one foot. Um, the other foot will glow. It just won't glow as bright as that one. And so we're looking for numbers one and two for our uh, ABs. And I see two in the eyeballs of Crumb. I see one in the eyeballs of Ipkis and Ablina as well. Let's see, so I'm seeing one and twos. Are there any more twos besides his eyes? Because I was thinking like the teeth or something, but I think it's just his eyes. Her eyes for number one and his eyes for number two. And you didn't get a big bag of them. And there's not a whole lot going on in this image. So this image is going to be something that's going to be super nice and easy and relaxing to do, especially if you're a beginner and you don't want a lot of the confetti. This kit is going to be perfect for you. Now, this kit will be available to everyone on Saturday, this December, January 7th, the first sneak peek of the new year. Let's go. Happy New Year to you. So January 7th. If you are a Diamond and Ruby member, this kit is going to be available at 9 a.m. Pacific, 10 cent, or I'm sorry, 9 a.m. Pacific, 10 Mountain, 11 Central, and 12 Eastern. If you are not a Diamond and Ruby member, you are considered general public. This kit will be available to you then 30 minutes later. And I'm going to give you a heads up. These kits tend to go super quick. So you're going to want to be quick with the fingers. So with that said, again, huge thank you to Diamond Art Club for providing this for us. This will be the next kit I work on. I don't care what I said before. I said what I said. We're working on this kit. Either way, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you, couldn't, if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up or the thumbs down, I don't care at this point. Make sure that you show some 
some love to the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you want to let me know if this is a cartoon that you used to watch, put that down in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But with that said, I got to get out of here, folks. So again, thank you so, so much for watching. And remember to stay safe out here in these crafty streets, y'all. Wear a mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face in public because that's gross. Keep your six feet and always try to remember to be kind to others because you never know what somebody else is going through. Be courteous because it's the right thing to do and always stay cool. Bye guys.